We are going on with paper 1 of 2020 and this is question 3. Question 3.1 says prove that this Sigma notation is a convergent geometric series. And we notice that the lower parameter is k is equals to 1. So our substitution for k would start at 1 and it goes up until infinity. So in order to prove that it's a convergent geometric series, we need to find a ratio that is between negative 1 and 1. And how I find the ratio is I need at least the first two terms. So the first term would be 4 times 3 to the power of 2 minus 1. And the second term would be 4 times 3 to the power of 2 minus 2. And this pattern would continue infinitely. If I simplify, I have 4 times 3 to the power of 1, which is 3, so that becomes 12, plus 4 times 3 to the power of 0, which is 1, so that is 4. Therefore, the ratio is 4 divided by 12. And if I simplify, that is one third. So the ratio is between 1 and negative 1. Therefore, the series is convergent. Three point two says if k is equals to p and this pattern goes on infinitely, and we have the contents of four times three to the power of two minus k, as we had in the previous question, and this is equals to two over nine, find the value of p. Now sigma represents the sum, and sigma to infinity represents the sum to infinity. And on the formula sheet, this is a over 1 minus r. The r value we have already calculated in the previous question, which is 1 third. Can you see that this contents is the same in both equations? And that ratio would be the same. But the a value, or the first term, would not necessarily be equal to 12. Because in our previous question, our substitution started with 1 in the lower parameter. But in this second question, the substitution starts at p, and we want to find p. So a would be 4 times 3 to the power of 2 minus p, which is our first substitution. So the sum to infinity is equals to 2 over 9. That is the same saying a, which is 4 times 3 to the power of 2 minus p over 1 minus the ratio, which is a third, is equals to 2 over 9. And if I simplify, on the left hand side, I have 4 times 3 to the power of 2 minus p over 2 thirds, which is equal to 2 over 9. And in order to remove the 2 thirds in the denominator, I multiply by 2 thirds. And you see it will cancel out on the left. And what I do on the left, I would do on the right. So I also multiply by 2 thirds. And if I simplify, this would be 4 over 27, which is equal to 4 times 3 to the power of 2 minus p. Now I would divide both sides by 4 in order to simplify further. So the right hand side will be equal to 1 over 27. And the left hand side will be equal to 3 to the power of 2 minus p. But 1 over 27 is the same as saying 3 to the power of negative 3. 
And on your calculator, if you have a Casio calculator, you'd use Shift Fact, which will present 1 over 27 in terms of a factor. Therefore, we have 3 to the power of 2 minus p is equal to 3 to the power of minus 3. And from there, I can simply solve p. So 2 minus p is equal to negative 3. Therefore, p would be equal to 5.